Hello and welcome to the second part of my How to Make Minecraft Tools in Blender tutorial. And we're just going to jump right in, go to Blender, open up the file that we made last time. We can get rid of this. And first we want to go up here, find these three lines, and we're just going to click and drag and create a whole new window for us to work in. I'm going to scale this, or not scale it, just zoom in, shift, middle mouse button. I'll zoom in a little, zoom out a little more. And now we're going to go down here to where you see the cube in perspective. And that's basically just a 3D view. So this over here, when you can, where you can manipulate faces, and models, and everything else. But we want the UV image editor, so right here. So we're going to go to image down here. We're going to open image. The, and this is the GUI folder inside the Minecraft jar, so I had to extract this before I could get into... I had to extract the Minecraft jar before I could get into the GUI folder. And there are plenty of tutorials on how to do that online. And the Minecraft jar can be found in on Macintosh, Users, New Library, Application Support, Minecraft, Bin, and the Minecraft jar, and GUI is just in there. And users is in the Minecraft, not the Minecraft, the Macintosh hard disk base directory. So we're going to go into GUI and we want to select items.png. And you'll see we've got all the items here. We're just going to scroll in. No mouse button. And we want to, we want the iron sword. Or at least I want the iron sword. You could do the diamond sword. I'm doing the iron sword because I like it better. And we're going to click middle mouse button, and we're going to scroll over here. And basically, what this does is it shows images with alpha transparency on, but I'm just using it because it makes the icon stand out better. So now we want to go into tab. And we, got to, we want to go down here, and we want to select face select mode. And there's also etch select mode and vertex select mode, which we usually use. But we're using face select mode today. Basically, what we're going to do is we are going to create different groups based on color. So for example, these pixels out here would be in one group, these white pixels here and here would be in another group, and these pixels here and these pixels here, since they're the same color, would be in the same group. And we're actually going to start with those ones. So we're going to bring up the circle tool with C, and we're going to scale it down just a bit. We're just going to start selecting all those faces. Yeah. And this is going to take just a minute. And there we go. Yep, that looks right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to escape and we're going to go into materials tab. Now, I probably should have done this first, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we're just going to use this base material for this group. What we're going to do is we're going to click Assign. And basically what that does is it assigns these selected vertices or faces to this material. It, you don't really notice it unless you've got at least two different materials. So I will show you that in a minute. So we want to go down here under Diffuse, and we just want to select the eyedropper tool and select that color right there. And you'll notice that the whole sword turns that color, but that's only because there's one material attributed to the whole sword. Once we get different materials in, we'll start seeing different colors where they should be. So we're going to create a new group now. And first I just want to double check and make sure I've got those assigned. So now we're going to click New, and first I probably should select the pixels in that group. So we're just going to do those, and we're doing these ones along the outer edge. And we're just going to go over here and assign, and you'll see that they're a different color now. I'm going to want to go under Diffuse, select the eyedropper tool, and select those. And tab out just to make sure that they're still a different color. 
And now we're just going to keep on doing that. Deselect. New. We're going to do white ones now. Escape. Assign. Go under Diffuse and select Eyedrop Tool. And now we'll do the, white, the gray ones until the center. And assign. I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to show you real, this real quick before I get onto the rest of the hilt. Let's say I want to select this outer group right here without using the C tool. So what I would do is I would go over here, and I believe it's material one. So just go down here, and you see select and deselect. So we're just going to click select, and bam, there we've got them all selected. We can deselect them, select them again, go to another group, and select those ones. And we can go back here, deselect, and basically just go nuts. So that's a nifty little feature. And now I'm just going to continue making the rest of the groups. So plus new. They're already deselected, so just... Nope, I'm grabbing the wrong ones. Escape, A, C, there we go. There we go. Those are all in the same group, so assign, get the eyedropper tool, and change them to that color. A, another group, new. And actually, I've just noticed that these and that one are all the same color. So we need to add this face, or these two faces, since there's one on the bottom, to this group right here. So go back to that group, select it just to make sure it is that group, and it is. So we'll select C, and we'll select that, those two faces right there, escape, and assign. And there we go, it's assigned to that group now. So deselect, and I'm just going to continue from where we left off. That looks good. So assign. Now I'm going to select the color. It's looking pretty good. <clears throat> All we've got left now is the brown parts. So new, deselect, C, and select those two pixels right there. New. Huh, for some reason it skipped six. And my tablet is double clicking again. So just make sure those are assigned, and they are. So we're going to deselect all. We're going to create another group. New. And now, as you'll see, I'm not really doing this in order. And it doesn't really matter if you do, say, select the vertices first, then add them to the group and then make the color, or you could do color first, then add the vertices to the group. It doesn't matter. It just, it just matters that you do all the steps. So C, assign, tab, and that looks good. So we're going to create a new group. Select that color. C, select those vertices, and assign. Oh, there we go. We just got one more group. So I'm going to create that. New. Bam. Assign. There we go. Awesome. See, it wouldn't be nearly as awesome as if it was a diamond sword. I'm sure I'll get comments on that, but I like diamond sword. Or I like Iron Sword. Iron for the win. It looks pretty nifty. So, that's basically it. It's the same technique if you want to do like a pork chop or what have you. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. I'm open to suggestions for more tutorials, whether they're Minecraft related or not. 
and I guess I'll see you guys later.